My grandfathers were heroes of mine. Uh, one of my grandfathers was liberated by the American forces during World War II, and the other served in the U.S. Army Air Corps. My grandfathers instilled in me a pride of being an American and uh, motivated me and inspired me to want to serve my country. And uh, my senior year at Ohio State, uh, I uh, decided I wanted to join the Marine Corps. Uh, the Marine Corps uh, instills you with a set of core values, uh, honor, courage, and commitment. Anybody who ever belonged to the Marines should know that you don't become a Marine overnight. And once you get that training, it's never going to be, it's never going to be gone. I met Josh in 2000 in uh, boot camp, Paris Island. He was our platoon leader, but he looked out for each and every one of us. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, Josh took the honor, courage, and commitment from the Marine Corps out into the world. I, I first served with Josh back in 2005. He's served two deployments in Iraq, and I think that speaks volumes to his character, and uh, it also earned him the rank of Staff Sergeant in the Marine Corps. Tears were flowing when Marine Reservists from the 323 landed in New Orleans last month. I love you! Josh Mandel got a very warm welcome. Oh, I think I'm looking at you! Oh, you're skinny! I first met Josh last December at a dusty base in Haditha, Iraq. He volunteered for his second tour. I got a call from the Marine Corps and uh, they said they needed uh, guys who do what I do here. I'm an intelligence specialist, and uh, I, I didn't join the Marine Corps to say no when my country called. Josh is the hardest working young man I have ever met. Well, I think for, for, for Josh, obviously, is how hard he works, and how hard he works in particular at getting out and meeting his constituents. Uh, when I ran for state representative, I knocked on approximately 19,679 doors. I wore out three pairs of shoes. He goes out and goes door to door and knocks on, knocks on doors, knocked on our door, and, uh, and really had an opportunity to sit down with him and talk about the issues. In this campaign for state treasurer, no one's going to outwork me. Uh, no one outworked me when I ran for state representative. Uh, no one outworked me when I ran for city council. And in this campaign for state treasurer, uh, no one's going to outwork me. Uh, Josh and I were both raised by um, people who valued family. Uh, strong moral uh, values, and uh, I think we both intend to have that kind of life for ourselves. I think I've always been drawn to honest and hardworking men. My father is an honest and hardworking person, and I saw those qualities in Josh, and I want to be able to teach that to our kids. Josh is drawn to public service um, because he wants to do the best for our community. Josh is doing a wonderful job at being our state representative. He's accessible, he communicates well, and we're very proud to know him and we support him 100%. I always hear wonderful things about Josh. Always, uh, he did a great job, he helped me, he made a call for me, he's concerned, he's lowered my taxes. The achievement I'm most proud of as a city councilman was lowering the property taxes in our community. Uh, I led the charge on the first property tax rollback uh, in the history uh, of our community and to this day it's one of the only property tax reductions in the history of the state of Ohio. I would say when there are difficult issues that we need to overcome, um, Josh is one of the leaders that we go to to get uh, his opinion and um, I think that he has served on different committees that shows his leadership. I think he is someone that people look to for answers and to get things done. I believe the most important duty of the state treasurer is to be a watchdog of people's hard-earned dollars. And I believe in a you know, fiscally conservative and fiscally responsible approach to our, our government. When families and small businesses are tightening their belts, I think government should be tightening its belt as well. I think we need a state treasurer who is fiscally responsible, uh, honest, and competent. I'm running for state treasurer because we need a treasurer who is going to protect the people's dollars now and also for future generations. The way I was raised in my family and the way I was raised in the Marine Corps, uh, standing on principle and standing with integrity means everything. Uh, so when I talk to people in every part of the state, I commit to them that I will serve them honestly, I will serve them with integrity, and I will work hard every day to safeguard their hard-earned dollars. Well, I think for, for, for Josh, integrity is a way of life. One word, very sincere. Sincere, honest, he's 
got a lot of integrity. He's not a phony. You could just tell by the, just meeting him, you know what kind of a person he is. Josh, to me, personifies uh, a, a work ethic. Very genuine and responsive. I trust him with my money, and I would trust him with my life. Josh is the greatest role model for my sons and everyone's children, sons or daughters. He's well-mannered, he is intelligent, he's committed, he has integrity, he served our country, he's still serving us every single day as a state representative. You just couldn't ask more um, in your child to have a role model such as Josh.